Hi and welcome to our lesson on multiplying by 10, 100 and 1000. In this lesson we will be looking at multiplying by 10. We can use our 10 times tables to find that 8 times 10 equals 80, 5 times 10 equals 50, 12 times 10 equals 120 and 3 times 10 equals 30. A trick you may have been taught is to add a zero to the end of the number. Whilst this trick does work for whole numbers, you have to be careful because not all numbers are whole. So to know what to do with numbers that aren't integers, we need to understand what's actually happening when we add a zero. We'll use the example 9 times 10. To see what's happening, we can write 9 on a place value grid. When we multiply by 10, we move each digit one place to the left. So we move the 9 to the tens column. Because there are no digits in the units column, we write in a zero. 9 times 10 equals 90. What if we have 0.9 times 10? Again, let's write it on a place value grid. To multiply by 10, we will move the 9 one place to the left. So 0.9 times 10 equals 9. Here's another example, this time with the number getting even smaller. 0.009 times 10. We are multiplying by 10, so we will move the 9 one place to the left. There are no digits in front of the decimal point, so we will write a zero in the units column. There is also a space in the tenths column, so we write a zero here too. 0.009 times 10 equals 0.09. Four point one times ten. We are multiplying by ten, so we move each digit one place to the left. We'll start with the four. We move it one place to the left into the tens column. Next we'll move the one. We move it one place to the left into the units column. Four point one times ten equals forty one. 0.052 times 10. Because we are multiplying by 10, we will move each digit one place to the left. We'll start with the 5. We move it one place to the left into the tenths column. The 2 will follow and it moves one place into the hundredths column. Finally, we write a 0 in the units column. 0.052 times 10 equals 0.52. In our final example, we have 3.08 times 10. We move the 3 one place to the left. Next, the other two digits will follow, with each digit moving one place to the left. 3.08 times 10 equals 30.8. Here are some questions for you to try. Pause the video now and have a go. Question 1. 0.2 times 10. We move the 2 one place to the left. 0.2 times 10 equals 2. Question 2. 6.2 times 10. We start by moving the 6 one place to the left. The 2 can then follow. We also move it one place to the left. 6.2 times 10 equals 62. Question 3. 0.54 times 10. 
we begin by moving the 5 one place to the left. The 4 will then follow. It moves one place into the tenths column. 0.54 times 10 equals 5.4. Question 4. 0.207 times 10. We move the 2 one place to the left. The 0 will then follow. And the 7 will also follow. We have moved each digit one place to the left. 0.207 times 10 equals 2.07. Thank you for watching. If you would like further practice, more questions are available on our website.